New at noon, we're getting a look at the thousands of pounds of cocaine and marijuana seized by the Coast Guard. And today they were offloaded right here in Port Everglades, and that's where we find local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos this midday. What a big bust they made, Roy. A big bust it is, Christy. Christy and Janice, this took them about two months to do, but they seized tons of drugs. You can see they're now being in the process of offloaded from that cutter right there. Those men and women aboard that uh, ship will attach them to that crane and they will turn them over to federal agents. And they say in addition to all of the drugs seized, 50 drug smugglers were also taken into custody. Sky 10 above the Coast Guard cutter James, seen with a hefty load of drugs now being offloaded before making it into the wrong hands. So what you're looking at here is just a small portion of 23,000 pounds of cocaine and nearly 9,000 pounds of marijuana seized by the men and women aboard the U.S. Coast Guard cutter James. Through this cohesive and proven effort with partner agencies and foreign allies such as the United Kingdom, France and the Netherlands, we continue to combat the criminal networks that disrupt security and stability in the Western Hemisphere. The illegal drugs that were confiscated during multiple Eastern Pacific and Caribbean Sea interdictions are valued at more than $411 million. But thanks to the crew of the Coast Guard Cutter James, these drug smugglers will never make it to our shores and the drugs will never see our streets. Usually three, three to four people, a lot of fuel drums and high horsepower engines are the profile of the boats that we're interdicting. In addition to the narcotic seas, officials say in stopping the drug smugglers who are known to transport in go fast boats from South America, at least 50 smugglers were also detained. We know that each interdiction saves lives and helps to protect others from violence, extortion and instability. And as we come back out live from the U.S. Coast Guard Cutter James, you can see those pallets of narcotics aboard right there now in the process of being offloaded. We are told that they will now be turned over to federal agents where they will likely be destroyed. For now in here, Port Everglades, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.